Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tamika and today I am going to be doing a full face of Emco Beauty. You know I love testing out affordable makeup that is easily accessible here in Australia and Emco Beauty is one of those brands that just keeps releasing amazing makeup. If you haven't heard of Enco Beauty before, they are an Australian brand. They're cruelty free and you can pick them up from Woolworths, Big W, Chemist Warehouse and online. Now I already have a few of their products in my collection that I love like these cheek and lip tints as well as the Extend Lash Mascara. But I did reach out to them and ask if I could get a few more products to create this video. So some of these products are gifted, some are purchased myself, but there's no obligation to post. I wanted to make this to share the brand with you because I just think they're amazing. All right, first up is the Skin Perfect Pore Minimizing Primer. This one has a matte finish and it says it blurs and smooths the skin with a silky lightweight texture. So here's what the texture looks like. It definitely looks like the Benefit Porefessional. I'm assuming it's going to feel quite similar as well. Yeah, already it feels so velvety and smooth. I feel like primers are very dependent on your skin type. I do have quite large pores all throughout my nose here, on my forehead and even on my chin. And sometimes different foundations can settle into them making them look worse. So I really love a pore filling primer to combat that issue. For foundation, I've got the Miracle Hydra Glow and this is in the shade Ivory. This one claims to wear up to 24 hours. It blurs imperfections. It has a buildable light to medium coverage. All right, I'm going to go in with my sponge to blend this out. Already it feels quite lightweight, which is nice. Okay, my memory card just said it was full, so I'm not sure where we got, but to recap, <laughs> it's giving me a light coverage and it does feel very lightweight on the skin. I am getting a little bit of, not so much clinging, but a bit of dryness around these breakouts here. I think I'll try applying this side with a brush and see what I get. Okay, I'm not really liking the finish with the brush. I'm hoping you can see on my forehead here that it just looks like it's clinging. So let's ditch the brush and go back with the sponge. See if we can smooth this out a little bit. I have also tried the other Enco foundation that they have. It was quite a while ago, but that one didn't work for me either. So maybe my skin just isn't quite compatible with their foundations. I think I've come to the conclusion that this foundation is not for me. First of all, this shade is a bit dark. They did have a lighter one, but the undertone was pink. That's why I went for the neutral. If I put some lightning drops in it, it'd be fine. But like right now, it's definitely too dark. I've tried to build it up on my chin, but it's just getting patchier and patchier. The sponge usually smooths out a foundation, but it's just not happening in this case. It's not combining very well on my nose. This could be with the primer. But then when I look at my cheeks where I didn't put any primer either, it still looks quite patchy. Okay, so not the best start, but that's all right. We'll take it off. I'll put on a different foundation and we'll be back with the rest of the products. All right, so instead I went in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 1N. I did put the primer back on too and it is sitting really nicely over that. There's no clinging, there's no patchiness. It looks great. So next we are going in with the Instant Erase Concealer and this one claims to brighten and correct. I have the shade Ivory. So far that's blending out nicely. It's very creamy, giving good coverage and I like the shade as well. It's definitely brightening but it's not like too pale and stark for me. All right, that looks really good. Everything is looking super smooth. All right, let's put on some brows. I've got the Brow Fill and Set Micro Crown and Tinted Gel in the shade Light Medium. So on one side, we've got a very tiny micro tip brow pencil, which I love. This is the shade here, looks good. And then the other side is a gel. Oh my God, <gasps> this is the tiniest little 
wand I've ever seen. Look at that. And there is the shade of the gel. Okay. <gasps> oh, I feel like this is going to be good. All right, so far, so good. The pencil is a really beautiful formula. It's that perfect amount of creaminess where it just glides on, but it's not like slipping and sliding around. Using a spoolie, you can blend it really nicely. I love the shade and I just love how tiny it is. It makes it so easy to be precise. Let's go in with the gel now. My brows are already tinted, but it does say that it sets the brows in place. The most annoying thing about being 34 weeks pregnant now is whenever I drop something, it is like the biggest effort to pick it up. <laughs> All right, I am really digging those brows. I think they look super sharp. The shade is definitely a bit more cool toned and ashy, not as warm as I was expecting, but it works for me. Now I do have the instant contour wand here in the shade light medium, but I did recently use this in a video and I'm sure you've seen people use this all the time. So I thought that I would go in and try the silky smooth bronzer instead. And this is a powder bronzer. I know creams have just been all the rage lately, but I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who still like or prefer to use powders. So this does come in one shade, Natural Bronze. It says that it creates a lip from within glow and has a ultra soft, silky smooth formula. I absolutely love the packaging and the pattern on the bronzer is really nice. It's reminding me of the Physician's Formula. It's even been such a long time since I've used a powder bronzer myself. I was a little bit nervous about the shade considering it does look quite warm and because I'm so fair I usually like my bronzers to have a little bit of a cool tone but it's looking very nice. It's bronzing up the skin, not looking too orange. All right, I am really happy with that. It doesn't give a like flat matte finish. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, which has a really nice glow. And it does look really smooth on my cheeks. For blush, I've got the cheek and lip tints. And I think these would have to be my favorite product from Emco Beauty. They just leave the most dewy, gorgeous glow to the cheeks. They have the right amount of pigment. They are long lasting. Oh my God, just beautiful. My favorite shade is Dusk which is quite dark. So at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that, but it shears out just beautifully. Oh, well, let me show you. So this is the shade here, quite deep, but if I blend that out on my hand, you can see that it shears out. Oh, look at that glow. So I like to apply it with the bum of my sponge. I just go ahead and dip that in and then bounce it on. The thing I like about this color is that it gives kind of like a not sunburnt, but yeah, kind of sunburnt look. <laughs> like it's still rosy, but it just looks really natural. And then just for reference, this is the other shade I have called Rose Glow. It's a really beautiful bubbly pink. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with just a little bit of Rose Glow as well. Oh, I just love these so much. Look, look at that. So beautiful. All right, now for highlight, I'm sure you have heard of the Highlight and Glow Beauty Wands. Now I had the shade Peach Glow in my collection already, but I really wanted to try Champagne Glow. Now Emco Beauty is known for duping high-end products and you're just getting them for a much more affordable price. So we all know that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Highlight Wands. Here it comes. So this one here is Peach Glow and this is Champagne. Ooh, that looks so good. Now these do look super pigmented. So again, I'm going to go in with the bum of my sponge, take just a little bit and then tap it on. Yes, okay, I love this shade. The Peach Glow like, is also really nice, but it's more of a blush for me. And when I put it all over my cheeks, it was just kind of way too glowy. So I definitely needed something lighter for a highlighter and this is perfect. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. <gasps> All right, that is absolutely beautiful. 110% sold. 
Like I already knew I liked the formula, but that shade is just what I was after. I'm really happy with the concealer. It hasn't like deeply settled into my fine lines. So I don't think I'm going to powder that. I'm just going to leave it. I am going to put a bit of powder though on my chin. I'm just using my CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I'm not going to put any powder on my cheeks though because I still want to keep that beautiful glow. I don't have an eyeshadow palette to try from Enco Beauty. They only have a few and none of them really caught my interest that much. So I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. No Budge Cream Shadow. It's just a brown shade applied all over and then we'll go in with mascara. For mascara, I've got the Extend Lash and this is definitely one of their best sellers. I really don't think I've come across someone who doesn't like this mascara and they just recently released a black brown version so you know I've got to try that they actually released so many new products there's more shades in the glow wands some lipsticks that look very similar to Charlotte Tilbury ones there's some triangle powder puffs which I really want to try I'm pretty sure there was a setting spray and maybe even some new skincare there were so many new launches I was really excited to see I love that this formula isn't too wet so it does a really good job at separating the lashes they don't get all clumpy or stuck together it does a really good job at lengthening and there is absolutely no transfer because it is a tubing mascara. And then for lips, I've got the Pout Gloss in the shade Tickle. This says it delivers a fuller pout, instant shine and it's long wearing. I think we can all tell that this is giving us Fenty vibes with the packaging. I'm just going to go in with a lip liner. I'm just using one by Rimmel. Oh my God, look how glossy that is. What a beautiful shine. The formula feels quite thick, but like in a good way. It feels really hydrating and nourishing. And I think that that shine is definitely going to stick around. All right, well, this is the finished look using mostly a full face of Enco Beauty. I am so bummed out that the foundation didn't work for me. I've seen so many people love it on socials and I thought that it would give me a really nice, like hydrated, glowy finish, but that's okay. Not everything is going to work for everyone. The concealer I loved. I still haven't set it with powder and it is looking great. Not settling into fine lines heavily. Can't wait to use that again. The primer actually worked really well with the L'Oreal foundation. So I think that this is going to be a good one when it comes to smoothing out those big pores. I love the brow pencil. It's nice and tiny, precise, easy to use, my kind of pencil. The powder bronzer really surprised me with the shade. I thought that it might be too warm and orange, but it blended out beautifully. It worked for my fair skin. Oh, would you look at that? There's a mirror underneath <laughs> and a little brush. But yeah, I really like the formula. I love that subtle sheen that it gives. It's just like a nice, healthy glow. So if you're not into cream bronzers, this is a good one to check out. The cheek and lip tints, I've loved them forever. I've got nothing bad to say about them. I was really happy with the shade of the Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand. It is just perfect for my fair skin. I know I'm going to get so much use out of this. Then we've got the mascara that I have loved and used for so long. And then the lip gloss, I cannot believe how glossy it is. It feels so comfortable. Oh, just stunning. If you've tried out Enco Beauty, I would love to hear what your favorite product or products are. I cannot wait to check out some of their new releases. They look so good. If this is your first time watching my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of content about affordable Aussie drugstore makeup. So if that is what you're interested in, then hello. Welcome, join the family. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, but other than that, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.